As you can see here, the developer of Majisk, John Wu, has just recently pushed out the new stable channel update to Majisk. And since I've just done a video showing you how to root the Samsung Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra, we initially used Majisk Canary in order to root that device. Now this has been pushed over into the stable version. So I want to show Galaxy S21 users how to update to the new version 22 version of Majisk and Majisk app, as well as how to switch over to the stable build. So I'm going to be linking the changelog and the announcement of Majisk version 22 in the video description. It's got a number of bug fixes, a new app hiding feature for devices on Android 9.0 and lower. But again, this is mainly this video is mainly for S21 users who have just rooted their device and may notice that you're going to have an update waiting for you in the Majisk app. So I want to point out one specific part of this update is due to this new app hiding feature, there are some incompatible issues with the current version of Majisk. So if you are updating to the new version, you definitely want to use the restore your existing Majisk manager before updating. This is only going to be an issue if you have used that specific feature before. We can find that in the settings area of Majisk. If you have used the hide Majisk app option in the past, you're going to need to use the restore option to bring that application back before we begin the update for the app. So the first thing we're going to need to do is simply open up the Majisk application and then we need to dive into the settings so that we can look in the app section and look in the update channel option that is likely going to be set to Canary for S21 users who have initially installed using the Canary branch. But again, we can just simply go and tap that update channel, set that over to stable, and then tap either the back button or the back arrow to bring us back. Then we need to just simply look in the second section right here. It's going to show what the package name that this application is managing. It will tell us what the installed version is as well as what the latest version is. Since that does not match, it's giving us the option to update. So we're just going to tap on the update button right here. We get that change log that we just recently looked at. Tap on install. If we have not set Majisk to allow app installs from this source, we're gonna get that pop-up. Just allow it and continue with the install. then simply just open the app back up. And once we have actually updated the Majisk Manager application, now known as simply Majisk App, once we have updated that and are up to date to the latest, then you should get an update option in the top Majisk section. And to update this to the latest version, we're just gonna tap on the blue update button we're going to choose the direct install option and then we're going to tap the let's go button. It's not going to take too long for the Majisk app to actually patch the required boot image with the new Majisk binaries. And when it says all done, as long as we don't have any errors listed right here, we're just going to tap the blue reboot button down in the bottom right. 
and then we're going to wait for the Samsung Galaxy S21 to reboot and bring us back into the Android operating system. Once we are back into Android, you can see we have not lost data or anything. Everything is safe. And we can now go into the Magisk application again. Make sure that the app checks so that we're on the latest version and that there is no longer an update or a notification or an app icon badge to, to tell us that, hey, there is an update to Magisk. So that's it. That is how to update the Samsung Galaxy S21 series to the stable version 22 of Magisk.